All right, 2011 Toyota Sienna. The uh, antenna rubber piece is disintegrated. That's what it should look like. That's what's left of it. I've pulled away a few pieces of it, you know, trying to get it, get this one off, so we can slip this one on, and it just slips on like that. And of course, your antenna just unscrews. So unscrew your antenna, and then we got to pull this piece, pull the rest of this rubber piece off. And then we will just slip this one on. If it doesn't slip on easy, we'll spray some soapy water or some Windex on there uh, to get it down in place. And it, it chipped the clear coat a few spots, but it did not get it down to uh, metal. So we don't need, if it did, if you run it for a while like this, uh, you're gonna wanna touch up those spots so they don't rust. But this one, it just chipped the clear coat in a couple spots. So let me set y'all up and we'll finish uh, replacing this thing. It's hanging on there. There we go. It's out. Yeah, all right. I always save old bottles. They're not old. I don't always save them, but I try to at least have one saved, and this is one that I'd save. And it's just got soapy water in it. Soapy water is handy to have for stuff like this and checking for leaks and tires. And we're just going to spray this thing down. And like I said, it's just soapy water. It's not going to hurt the paint. We will wipe it off when we are done. But that's going to go a long way to make this easy. Looks like it's mostly lined up. Just looking down in here. And what we can do, it's lined up so we can thread the antenna in and kind of use that to help draw it up. Our best bet is to heat this thing up a little bit, make it a little more pliable. If you don't have a um, torch, so it's a soldering iron, but you take the uh, runs on butane, take this tip off, and it becomes a heat gun. And you take that tip off. Oh, and do this. Take that out, put it back together, and then it becomes a torch. So torch mode, heat gun mode, and you put the tip on it for soldering iron. Works really good. And I buy my butane at the dollar store, and it lasts forever. So it's drawn up. You can see the antenna is flush right there. So it did it did well there.
all right it's in I just had to keep you know heating it working on it and kind of got the sides in worked on getting the sides in at least one side and kind of rolled around and then got the top in and then push this side in right here and that got it it is locked in place you can see it is flush all the way around and that's how it should fit and um, I also uh, used a flat blade screwdriver just to kind of uh, you know wide flat blade to kind of bump this to make sure it was seated all the way down here I don't know if it moved or not but um, I did get it after I did that so maybe that did help a little bit just make sure you get a good wide blade so you don't um, you know hurt the rubber uh, spread the load you know so anyway it's in um, I'll put a link in the description to the OEM one, I think, and maybe I'll put a link to this one as well. But uh, if I had to do it over again, I probably would just buy the OEM one, but, you know, it looks good in there. It was only a couple bucks, so I guess I can't complain too much because we'll see how it holds up. But uh, the OEM one didn't hold up that well. Hopefully this one will last, I guess, at least that long or longer. So anyway. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.